Who? Loot. What the fuck is that noise? Oh shit. Gas. Oh shit. It's still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Uh. 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 uh look for a way to escape the trap. I suppose I can just like uh. How do I? Blah. Again? Yes. <laughs> Help me. Druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Uh -huh. Teleport us out of here. Think of something quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Jews. Uh, I mean, uh. Hold on tight. I don't know why. I don't know why I chose Jews. I got no problem with Jews. <laughs> they seem like a great people. No big deal. Nothing to see here, anybody. No heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Mm hmm Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you, and we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise, a king must command respect, a king must have bollocks. <laughs> We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forward. That her son must be. I don't like him. Doesn't have a full beard. He's not ready to be king. Can't be king if you don't have a beard. Oh, there's there's her, Saris, and my ex. And my the son could spiked not be stick. Here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. That's Hjalmar. Hjalmar is correct, son, I guess. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all this shit. I have played this game before, so I should know all this, but uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Ceres. A dagger? Couldn't come up with something more imposing. Be the best man! A woman win. Okay. It's not even like a cool looking dagger. Just a... <laughs> Whatever. She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children. The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. Mm hmm She doesn't have a beard, but she's not trying to be king, she's trying to be queen, so my logic still holds. Still holds, guys. How was it, Geralt? When Ciri was nearing woman. Oh. I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. Sweet. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Hmm. So I just have like... Apparently Geralt just knows like all these super rich people and yet he's... 
always complaining about being poor or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, need your help with Ermion. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't Great. concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Siri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, that Skellig's my isle. With my permission to investigate as you see fit. Hmm. Do I need to talk to him? Uh. Who? Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an odd Skellig on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Okay. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. Mm -hmm. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. Wonderful. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Uh... A... I desire to be king? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Hmm. Giants, huh? Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artskeled. Ooh. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. Mm -hmm. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Now I gotta track this asshole. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. And her too, There's huh? no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalma and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother, yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. Hmm. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Okay. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Siri is still on Art Skellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Travel Head attire? South. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Clark. I will see you later. Travel attire? I don't remember wearing anything else. Whatever. Let's just see. We'll find out later. I'm gonna do some other shit, though. Oh, level 47. I didn't get the sound effect of leveling up, what the fuck? What the fuck, I got robbed of my sound effect. 960 experience points, damn. Hmm. Nice little storm. So what should we do first? 
Got all sorts of choices here. Hmm. I need to meditate. Get some of these, uh, some of this shit back. In the meantime, I got a bunch of quests. Uh, Lord of Unbook. Oh, this is a secondary quest? I don't have to do this? Oh, I have to do that. Oh, I just meet Yen at the magic site, and these are, these are, uh, not unnecessary. Well, I think I'll do this one. I'm already level 47. Damn, I'm growing levels faster than I expected. Talk to Triss about the statuette. Anything else? Actually, maybe I'll just, uh, fast travel around, around this place. Hmm. Hmm. Can I fast travel from here? I probably can, yeah. I wonder what this is, and I wonder how I get to it. It's probably like a secret passage or some shit I gotta get to. Over here, huh? I think there was also, yeah, this over here. Go get that notice board. Unlock some of these question marks. First time I've been over here. Speaker rock, go. This is where Ceres is. Yeah. I could help Ceres out right now, but I don't really... I'll do it later. I just want this notice board right now. Notice board. Over here. Okay. That's all taken care of. Um, fast travel over to his horn one. Yeah, Elderberg's lighthouse. Hmm. Here comes the groom, huh? Another quest. Anyway, I need to go this way. Track on the thieves and tree holders' horn. What a nice view.